Hey, welcome back. So maybe we won't get to pay gold too today. This is this, these levels are hard, and I'm I don't know, but I like playing it. Even though I'm failing, I'm like, oh, who cares? <laughs> uh, it's fun. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? That one's gonna be tough. How am I gonna get that one? <laughs> oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Oh, it would have hit it if that pig wasn't there. <laughs> so I was going to finish my notes about... Because I read through the New Testament, and I talked about hope. I have some other little thoughts about this little neat book. It's called The Bible. I want to read the New Testament every year. That's my goal. At least. And then maybe sometimes do the Old Testament. Ecclesiastes, maybe, but like, I don't know. Freaking Exodus. I was rereading... Um, Oh, nice shot. I was rereading the story about Moses killing 3,000 people because of the idol. And it's even worse like than I remember it. It's like horrible what he did. Um, the, and reading it, like it really reminds me of a cult leader. That's the thing that bothered me. Because the religious leader goes up to this mountain he's like okay guys i'm going to talk to god and he's going to tell me what to do and they're like can we go up there he's like no you just got to trust me i'm talking to god don't worry um like why couldn't he bring somebody else up there to talk to god no you gotta have faith in me that's what cult leaders do so i mean i'm a christian i don't believe moses was a cult leader but he's acting like one <laughs> um Uh, so, it, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. Then he kills 3,000 people. And he makes them, I forgot about this part. He he melts the calf, and he mixes dirt in with it, and then he makes the people drink the dirt. I'm like, what what, do you, what is that? God want, Why did God want you to do that? <laughs> that's just, like, so weird. You're insane. That's the point, like, if I was in that, um, like, the killing people, I understand. <laughs> because, like, that's a normal thing for a crazy person. I mean, that's a normal thing for, like, a person to do. But once he, if I was in that group of Israelites, and once he started making us drink dirt, I'd be like, okay, I think this guy's crazy. <laughs> Maybe he's not actually talking to God. I know canonically, like, the Israelites saw him part the sea, so if I saw somebody part a sea, I'd, I'd probably be like, okay, this guy, maybe he's got some Jesus magic, magic on his side or something. But, okay, that's not what I was going to talk about today. <laughs> I was going to talk about Romans 13. That verse stood out to me because... It says, the Old Testament law is fulfilled by love. All the laws are summed up by this. Love your neighbor. Love is the fulfillment of the law. Who is your neighbor? Every single person. Um, so that's the cool thing about Christianity to me. Rereading the story about Jesus and Paul, and obviously we all know it. The cool, uh, I mean, Paul, Paul actually is, I like him. <laughs> Part of me used to think like, oh, I don't know if I like this guy. Um, but if you didn't know, like, more than half of the New Testament is written by this guy named Paul. And he's like the second most important person in Christianity. Next to Jesus. I guess like Moses and Abraham and Isaac and stuff, but whatever like the prophets. Um, but there's there the interesting thing is like there's more thoughts from Paul in the New Testament than there is from Jesus, which I kind of wish it was the other way around, but whatever. That's what we get. Um, and there are some new things in the new testament that, that i'm like oh like what he says like oh women shouldn't speak in church and i'm like oh i don't know about that 
but most of what he says is pretty cool. He says, um, when the people torture you and whip you and put you in prison for being a Christian, don't do anything. Let them hurt you. And then after they hurt you, tell them, okay, I'm still a Christian. What are you going to do now? <laughs> like, that's the most badass thing <laughs> that you can do. And that's what Jesus did, and that's what Paul did. Um, lo uh, that's kind of summed up by Jesus when he's like, love your enemies. It's not, it's not intuitive for us. Even bad people love their enemies. I mean, love their friends. Like Hitler liked his friends, right? Was that a B? What the heck? <laughs> um, if you want to be like Jesus, you got to love the people who are crucifying you. And at the very least, you have to do what Paul says, which is like, you're going to be mocked and stoned and tortured and whipped for being a Christian. Um, don't let that deter you from being a Christian. View that as like a badge of honor for being a Christian. God will reward you for that. Maybe not. Maybe not in this life because obviously you're getting whipped. So that does, that's not the reward. The reward is in the next life or whatever. Um, that's the coolest thing about Christianity to me, I think. The I, I, it, it was kind of... When Christianity started, obviously, it was like a cult. It was like a new religion about this crazy guy who came back from the dead. What? That's crazy. Um... But it's it's nice that like it stuck around because it was it was like a cult of uncommon love. That's that was their motto. Like we just gotta be love people like to an extent that's like annoying and weird and doesn't make any sense. Like well, yeah, so like everybody else at that at that time were. Well, either they were Jewish or they were pagan. So he was saying, like, even the pagans love their friends. If someone's nice to you, it's easy to love them. Even the pagans do that. Even the Romans, like with their Hercules and their Zeus or whatever. <laughs> even they like their neighbor, their friends. But Christians, we have to be, like, so weird. Like, love is the most important thing, so you have to love the people who hate you. That's what we do. And it's like, awesome. That is cool. I mean, maybe there were other religions at that time that were like, you gotta love your enemies. But the Christians really did it. They, they got, all the disciples were basically crucified, pretty much all of them, for being Christian. Um... The period after Jesus died, like the next 100 and 200 years, was like terrible for Christians. They were getting tortured by the Romans and by Nero. Like run through the street on carts and torn apart <laughs> and crucified upside down. Um, and that only, I mean, if you look at that from a, like a sociological perspective, it's like that only helped Christianity. And it makes sense. Like, even if you're... Imagine, like, crucifying somebody and them still being so, like, I don't know, obstinate? Is that the right word? Just like... Okay. Like, what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to make me not a Christian? Because you can't do that. <laughs> I am a Christian. If someone was, like, whipping you... And they're like, just tell me you're not a Christian. <laughs> I don't know. And you're just like, I, I, I don't know. What, what do you want from me? I, I can't do that. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. 
And even if like if you were the the whipper in that, if you were the whipper in that um, situation, you'd be like, Christianity seems kind of awesome. Like, is it really that powerful where like you can get whipped and still believe in your God and still trust in him and still have love, even for me, for the person whipping you? How, how is that possible? That's Christianity. That's my Christianity. On its best days, that's what it is, and that's what it should always be. All the other stuff is just bad PR from Christians. Like, stop talking about gay stuff. Like, people are gay. Let them be gay. It's good. They're loving each other. Stop being mad about it. And, and I don't understand. You're hyper-focusing on this gay stuff, and it's weird. And I reread all the verses about Paul saying, oh, don't be gay. And it's like, it's very throwaway. It's not important to Paul. He, he's just like, Paul doesn't understand what being gay means. He's like, he knows like what the Romans and they have like these orgies. And, and like, I, I could even say like, oh, orgies are probably bad. Like, do you really want to connect with that many people in that way? It doesn't seem like, I don't know, maybe I'm being too puritanical or whatever by saying that, but. I think even most Americans who aren't Christian would say like, eh, orgies are kind of weird. Like maybe, let's not do orgies, it's weird. <laughs> um, so that's what, I th like that's what he's kind of talking about. Because he does, in one of the verses, he does use it in the same verse. He's like, no orgies and no men having sex with men. He's just being like, don't have a relationship with people that you don't love. And he thinks that men can't love each other. But they can't. So if you're gay and you love somebody, how many times have I said this? <laughs> like, do it. Love, love them. I'm happy for you, and it's the best thing. It's the best gift. If God exists, it's the best gift he ever gave us is love. Like, I, why would anybody try to keep it, you from ex experiencing that? I don't understand it. Ooh, one more left. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, I didn't really go through all my notes, did I? Or did I? Um, Christianity, yeah, no, that was the part I liked. I wanted to talk about the, the whole, like, it's like, like loving your enemies. Um, and I don't know if I really do that. Like, who's my, but who's my enemy? Do I have any enemies? I guess when I worked at my old job, my boss was kind of my enemy. And I did try to, I don't know, he wasn't really an enemy, like he wasn't whipping me or anything. But it was a very adversarial relationship. And I do remember, even you can watch these videos, some videos I made where I'm just constantly telling myself like, it's okay, he's a good person, he's fine. I mean, that's not exactly what loving your enemies means. I was trying to rationalize it and just be like, he's a good person, but he's going through a tough time. <laughs> um, that's me showing as much love as I'm capable of, I guess. But I need to love my enemies. I think it's important. I don't, whatever. See you tomorrow. <laughs>